Hey guys, let's break down some of the best ways to hide wood grain when you're painting furniture or cabinetry. I like to use regular old spackling to fill in the wood grain, but you can use wood filler specifically made for filling wood grain too. So I put some spackling into a separate container and then I add some water to it. Then I mix up the water and the spackling together to a consistency that I can brush on. Then I use a paintbrush to brush the spackling into the wood grain. I like to brush it on in the opposite direction of the wood grain so that it gets pushed into the wood grain better. This specific kind is pink when it's wet and turns white when it's dry. Once it's dry, I sand it down smooth with 220 grit sandpaper. This spackling tip is a tip that I learned from Danny at Just Painted by Danny. Then I can continue on with my project as normal. I do personally like to prime it after I fill in the wood grain with a stain blocking primer because the spackling in the wood grain can bring out bleed through issues. Shellac based primer are always my go to primers. Something else to keep in mind too is that if you use a water-based primer, the water can react with the water-based spackling and make it sink in a little bit. This will make the wood grain more visible. But if you use a shellac primer after the spackling, it won't react with the spackling and make it sink in. This will make it so then the wood grain is less visible and that's what you want. When it's time to paint, it's best to brush or roll the paint or primer on instead of spraying. When you spray, the paint never gets all the way into the wood grain, so you're left with black spots where the wood grain isn't filled in. If you're painting with a dark color, it's not as noticeable, but when you use a light paint color, the wood grain really stands out. When you brush or roll the paint on, the paint gets pushed into the wood grain, filling the wood grain with paint. But after that first coat is on, you can sand down the brush or roller marks if they bother you, and you can spray the paint on for a brush mark free finish. If this helped you out, please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks a bunch!